Hi everyone! It's been about a week since I last updated you all, so I thought I'd jump on again and do another uh, little vidi video for you all. Uh, this week I have been working a lot on my felted pieces. And um, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you will have seen some of these little felted animals that I keep putting up. And um, a lot of people have been asking me, what, what are you doing? Why are you making felted animals? What does that have to do with fashion or anything else that you're <laughs> interested in? And um, I'm going to talk a little bit about that and explain what I'm doing and the process of it. Um, but the reason I got into needle felting is uh, when I was home in Canada visiting my family for Christmas, my mom had bought me a little felted uh, beginner's kit because I've never done needle felting before. And she bought one for me and one for her because both of us cannot just sit and watch TV in the evenings. We have to be doing something crafty or art project related or something. We can't just sit and enjoy a TV show like some people can. So um, anyway, so she bought me this little kit. It was a little um, felted needle, needle felted box. And I loved it. I sat there every night just, um, just going at it with my needle. And um, when he was finished and I got back here, I thought, you know, I want to, I want to learn more about this technique and see what, what it's capable of and what I can do with it, how I can incorporate it into my fashions. Um, I just love learning every type of traditional craft. And um, I had been exposed to wet felting before in college. Uh, but to be honest, I absolutely hated it. Um, they made us go to, I shouldn't say they made us. <laughs> it was a great experience because uh, we had to go to a sheep farm in Uxbridge, Ontario. And we got the raw wool from the sheep. We watched them shear the sheep and we brought it home in my car, which made my car smell like farm animals for months afterwards. But um, we had this, I mean, it was beautiful raw wool, but we had to card it all. We had to clean it. The lanolin that was all over my hands, um, it was on there for, for days and days. You couldn't get it off. So the experience for someone like me, I'm a very girly girl, um, was just a little bit much for me. I much prefer now this needle felting where I can buy wool already cleaned, um, ready to go dyed. And um, so it, it, it's a really interesting craft. Um, I'm thinking I can also bring it with me as we travel because it's so light, um, all of the, the tools needed. Um, this is the little needle felting uh, tool that I'm using and um, I, I, I'm kind of doing these pieces as samples. So like I said, everyone's asking me why am I making farm animals <laughs> and different things and scenes. These are just samples. When I start to, to try out um, a new technique, I always just make samples and whether I'm going to do something with these or not, maybe not. Um, but it's just a way to learn. So um, this was my my little sheep here, and I made this using um, beautiful mohair, organic mohair um, wool. And I thought I thought he was kind of quite sassy and turned out good. And I loved his little kind of Justin Bieber side swipe of his hair there. So I made him a friend. I had to. And this is my little cow with his little side swoop of hair there as well. And these are all, again, 100% needle felted. Um, I did a little, um, a little picture, I guess you would call it, um, a needle felted picture. And then I went in and I added some French knots um, for flowers there in the foreground because this is kind of what I'm thinking. I want to combine different techniques. So I want to embroider on top of, of the needle felting. Um, I'll show you another little project I'm working on. This is going to be for my niece because she has a little cat that looks exactly like this. So if you can see, so I made her, um, he's not done yet. He's, he still needs some, some trimming there and some, some more work done to him, but, um, just something a little fun to, uh, to give to her. So 
Um, so as I said, I'm learning this technique to be able to use it for different uh, things within my fashion. So um, let me show you an example of what I mean. So I have got these pieces here so far, and these ones um, are just just starting kind of. Um, I'm just kind of putting some colors together, thinking what, how I'm going to work with them, the strands of, of wool. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to take this lace and I'm going to somehow kind of overlay the lace with the, the wool and then embroider on top of there. So again, I love combining techniques. I love layering. And um, so one thing about me also, though, is I never plan ahead. I like to just see where my work takes me. So um, you might be asking, well, what are you going to do next? And how are you going to do that? I don't know. It's going to unfold as I go. And then this may end up, um, you know, as a beautiful collar um, on a piece or um, even a beautiful, like some sort of cuff or something. We'll see. We'll see what it ends up to be. Um, so it, those of you that are kind of curious about how this technique works, um, it's really simple. Like I said, I just use one needle and there are different, um, there are a lot of different needles for needle felting. Um, I have a six needle holder, a three needle holder, or just a one, but to be honest so far, I just like the one and, um, it's kind of more of a slow process and I love that. I love um, things that are tedious, that take a long time. So this is kind of right up my alley. Um, so what you do is it's very, very simple. Um, I'll show you on this piece that I've already kind of got started here. So um, you just take a little bit of your wool and you lay it onto your piece wherever you want it. I'll put it kind of along the purple stuff so you can kind of see. And then you're literally poking, poking until it all of the fibers start kind of going into each other and lay flat. And um, it's a great, great technique, I think, for artists because you can really use it for shading and layering. I'm not that great at drawing, um, but I can imagine if you are, um, you can see my my funny little picture. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not a great artist, but I love how I could create shadows and, and um, different textures and things in the sky. So um, yeah, if you're an artist, I definitely recommend giving this a try because uh, it's easy. You just pull off the little pieces of wool, stab at it into um, a little mat, and this is a felting, uh, felting foam. And um, it's that easy. So again, I'm really, really enjoying this technique. Uh, my mom has also gotten into it since she did her little fox. And um, I can show you. Um, she's going to be so excited because I went and got her a whole bunch more wool from Hobby Lobby because I'm going to be seeing her soon. So um, yeah, it's also a very pretty inexpensive craft. Um, those big packages of wool cost me, I believe it was like $6.50 at Hobby Lobby. So inexpensive, very light if you're traveling. Um, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be really neat to incorporate into my, my uh, fashion. I really want to do, I want to find a really nice vintage wool piece because I can just, because it's wool, I can literally just um, felt right on top of it. So when I'm in Europe, that's what I'm going to be looking out for. So that's just a little bit about um, the felting that I've been exploring and um, why I've been making all these funny little farm animals and things and putting them up. They're just samples. They're me having fun, seeing you know what I can play around with and what I can learn. Um, other than that, you can see I've got boxes behind me packing up still uh, about a month and a half before we leave on our big adventure. So. Time's going to go fast, so um, lots of packing to do, so I better get back to it. Thanks for watching, and um, don't forget to 
hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. If you like this video, please give it a like. It does help um, for more people to find me and find my work. So thanks, and we'll talk to you again soon. So I went before telling you about the rest of my week. I was just so excited about my felting that I had forgotten about anything else I did this week. <laughs> so um, as usual, we went to our favorite coffee shop and um, we go there six days a week. We like to work out of there, um, our day jobs, because we're on the computer a lot. Um, the people there are so friendly. We know all the regulars and the workers there. And um, it's called Southern Streams. Um, I'll put a little video here. Um, they just have the best atmosphere. They sell um, different items from local artists. Um, there's some, some uh, glass pieces, homemade candles, fresh, fresh flowers, um, a lot of different things you can get there as well. And um, I also took some shots of the drive along the way there and I uh, just love driving through the mountains. I love being able to look out the window and just see the, the beautiful landscape. And um, with spring coming, a lot of the trees are just, just starting to bloom. So it really is beautiful um, here in North Carolina at the moment. Um, it's going to be sad to leave it, but we've got so many new adventures coming and we know we'll be back here someday. So um, yeah, just wanted to show you our coffee shop where you can find us most days. Um, also, when I went to Hobby Lobby to get my mom her, her wool, um, Easter is in full effect there. So again, check out this video here. You can see the aisles are full of Easter decorations and spring inspired um, bits and bobs and things. Um, there was also in their home decor aisle, the most beautiful collection. It was like a, a dusty rose, um, neutral and gold. And um, I just loved that aisle. So I took a video of that for you as well. Um, once we finish our adventure and get home, I think that might need to be my new colors in my new atelier. And here uh, is me going down the, um, I guess it's the, the fiber arts aisle in, in Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure what you call it. It's right beside all of the wool and knitting supplies. And this is where you will find the felting uh, supplies. So um, you can see they've got all sorts of colors, all sorts of tools. You'll also find the foam mat there that I use and um, a lot of stuff, you know, for a beginner felter um, you can find there. So if you want to give this technique a try, that's the aisle that you need to go to. It's with all the embroidery threads and, um, and cross stitch um, type of supplies. So that wraps up what I've been doing for the past, uh, week or so since the last time I talked to you and um, yeah like I said if you enjoyed this video please remember to like it um, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more or if you want to um, uh, follow along with our adventures once we start traveling these videos are going to get more and more exciting so I'm going to be showing you all the destinations the crafts that I'm going to be learning there um, and all of our adventures. So yeah, that's it for now. And I'll talk to you again soon.